Hi, I'm Rachel, AKA RMP Lift, and I'm dating as a millennial. Um, so recently I've noticed a lot of people have come back to the single world. So um, welcome, time to be feral for one. Um, two, I the same agenda or the same theme keeps coming popping up of why the last relationship ended and it intentions have changed in the middle of relationships and that's why the relationship fizzled. Um, I can tell you if someone puts that they're looking for short term or hooking up, that's personally, that's a red flag. It means that they can't make up their mind, they don't know what they want, and that they're just going to hurt your feelings or pass something to you, which to each their own. But once you hit 30, some people get out of that phase, or some people are getting out of serious relationships and just coming back to that phase, which is also a whole other issue. But to move on, people are switching intent intentions once they get into a relationship or situationship with someone. If you are in a hook up and you go in thinking, this is gonna stay a hook up, this is all it's gonna be, great, fine. But if you are listening to everyone else's stories about, well, we were hooking up and then we like developed feeling for each other, that's not gonna to happen to you. That is most likely not going to happen to you. So do not go into a situationship or hook up thinking that you're gonna get a relationship out of it. That's toxic and that's you trying to fix or change someone else. And that's not that's not okay in the first place when you're entering a relationship. Now on the other end of that, if you are telling someone you want monogamy and you are going forward as a monogamist or whatever your situation is, and you switch or just not commit to that, so if you're che actively cheating or actively seeing other people after you've told someone else and someone else is putting that effort towards monogamy, you are the problem then. That is switching intentions and that is screwing someone else over. And as you can tell from the tone of my voice, that's just what happened to me um, and a couple other of my good friends. But I was in a relationship with someone who was exiting pro hockey, couldn't mentally deal with it, but was also having that going on and then telling me that he wanted a monogamous relationship and that people, he's used to people leaving him, just all of these lies while he was seeing multiple women behind my back. And all of this came out a couple weeks ago when someone else posted him, are we dating the same guy? In order to post in that group, you need to be on dating apps. See where I'm going? So someone else not only posted him, multiple women came forward, not only in my DMs, but on the post that they were also seeing this red flag. Um, so it's just he committed to me, but he just mentally wasn't there. Um, and he also had a, all sorts of other issues of just he mentally couldn't handle growing up and not being a pro hockey player anymore. He he also lacked having healthy boundaries with his family. Um, and he just became so emotionally unavailable that his lies caught up with him and it all just came out. Um, we did have a serious talk at like, we talked for two months, which I know is a long time, but we talked for two months to get to know each other. And then almost at four months, we were dating. After that two months of talking, we made that discussion of we want to be boyfriend, girlfriend, monogamous, off the app. And then moving forward, we were supposed to have nothing to do with the apps. He had a completely different mindset and set of lies. But unfortunately, uh, it's not uncommon. I, it's the common theme that I'm hearing from all these couples break up, which if you are having second thoughts or it's not working for you anymore, you need to have that adult conversation with your partner or partners. If you can't communicate, you don't belong in a relationship and you need to put a lot more work into yourself. So my final thoughts on this is just use this time to heal, better yourself, better anything that you work on or anything that you're involved in. You know, take this time for yourself so that your next relationship isn't suffering. Um, and you know, just start going out more. Drop the dating apps. Drop the dating apps. They are nothing but crap. So I guess those are my two things, heal and drop the dating app. But you know, you never know when you're going to meet someone. Hopefully we meet someone, but I believe you can do it. And I believe in you and I hope that you have a happy healing time. So good luck, guys.